Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who's liked the videos and who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, if you think these are good videos and they interest you, please, uh, please consider it. Wow, the uh, the journey's over. It is over. We uh, 33 days was the mark. That's what we got to, and it's kind of a, a crazy story. Um, after the last video I made, I was in San Jose with Mike French at a SunPower Master Dealer Summit, and we made that video, and we're like, yes, we made it past the month mark. It was day 32. We were pretty stoked about it. And then the next day, I am at the San Francisco airport. I am sitting to have something to eat as I wait for my flight to go back to JFK and I get a ring from my wife and she got home and all of the lights were flickering in the house. She was with her brother and I'll cut to that video right now so you could see what was taking place. Lights. All the lights in the house when we walked in are flickering with no exception. In the basement, in the living room, in the kitchen, upstairs, and then the Tesla power walls are making funky noises. You hear it? All right, welcome back. Sorry if I uh, forgot to introduce our special guest today. This is Snowball, he's sitting over here. He's joining me for this video. And uh, he was also here when the lights were flickering. So you saw what was going on, the lights were flickering. Um, I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. And honestly, I couldn't believe it didn't happen sooner. We had so many things running in the house. We had compressors, we had dryers, we had refrigerators, we did not spare anything. The goal was to live life like, you know, we didn't know the power was out. And we did that for 33 days. And just to prove that we did that for 33 days, I will show you here on the Tesla app, there's something called backup history. And on the backup history, I'll go to it here. So on backup history, you could see it keeps a log of all of your power outages. See, we even had two in the past couple days, five minutes each. And the app keeps track of every single one of those that goes out and how long it was out for. So you could see September 14th is when the journey started. We were out of power for 792 hours and four minutes. That equals 33 days and four minutes we were out of power for. So, yeah, there it is. That's uh, that's how long we're off. And there's the proof right there to show it in the Tesla app. So what happened was the lights were flickering. She's like, what do I do? Um, is there anything I can do? So what I'll show you right now is I FaceTimed um, Bianca. And when we were FaceTiming her, I was walking her how to turn the main breaker on the gateway back on. I knew that everything just needed the grid to get back in line and balanced. And the reason being is because we didn't run out of power. The power wall had 89% in it still. Look at this screenshot, 86%. I'm sorry when it happened, we had 86%. So the reason we had to go back on grid isn't because we ran out of juice, it was a technical difficulty that we were having, crazy to say that technical difficulty, but we had 86% and the lights were flickering. So when I was with uh, my buddy Ben from EcoSolar, I was like, what, it, what do you think it is? He's like, oh, it's probably a brownout. You ran out of power in the batteries. But then I'm like, no, I'm at 86% still. But that's because I really feel everything was just out of alignment and there's too many loads going on. We didn't spare. Um, but still, if you were considering doing this setup for a full off-grid home in the middle of the woods in the cabin, uh, it would have proven to fail at day 33. It wouldn't have worked. And I'm going to get an answer back from Tesla on the data, see if they could go through it. Um, they have all of our monitoring data and see if they see something that went wrong or if they have ever went through something like this before with um, 
another situation which I'm sure I'm sure they must have but yeah that's what happened and what I'd like to do is go to October 16th the day before we lost power and or the day before we went back on the grid and see if we see any abnormalities in the sun power in the in the Tesla monitoring app so we'll look here we see uh, 715 the sun rose system was on our high for the day was 5.8 kW and that was at 1125 a.m. and then you could see it was bouncing all day long the battery was full we were using battery we were pushing solar in using battery pushing solar in and the reason we could tell there is because we know the power wall was filled up um, by four o'clock because the solar shut down and you could see the big green line underneath it um, which means we could tell that the battery was full. So there's really nothing I see abnormal on the 16th. And I'm looking here, I see a surge at like, right after midnight, a uh, 4.6 kW surge. But other than that, um, I, I don't see anything that's drastically out of the norm. Now let's go to October 17th. This is the day that we went back on. So the solar, kicked on and it kicked on at 7:30 in the morning we had our high of a at 110 5.8 kw on the system or 6.8 and then the system turned off and we we're on powerwall for the rest of the day so from one o'clock on it was all powerwall so i'm not sure if something happened here i don't know what the weather was like on this day but to not have power kick on anymore and just be using the grid, usually we would see that bounce, that bounce all the time, but you don't see that on this day. So maybe that had something to do with it. Something I'm gonna look into to check what's, what's going on there. But let's go to, let's fast forward and go to six o'clock. This is when Bianca called me and this is when she flipped the main breaker back on where I was walking her through it in a FaceTime and showing them how to flip the switch back on. And when she flipped the switch back on, everything went back to normal. All the lights, everything stabilized, everything was fine. And that's where at this point in time, at 6.10 on October 17th is when we went back online. And that's, that's where we're at. So that's when we went back on the grid and uh, everything leveled out. I owe you an explanation of why that happened. In my gut, I feel like I know why it happened because of the loads and everything just, I feel like those batteries needed the grid just to get power back in them and get leveled off. I felt like the batteries possibly might have been out of sync. I don't know, there's three batteries here maybe something happened um, in that moment where we had 86% power, all the batteries were pretty much filled up. It was six o'clock at night. We should have been fully running off just the batteries, which we were, but everything was flickering and uh, we had to, uh, had to go back online. So I can't thank you guys enough for watching these videos and for the positive uh, comments and the, the thumbs up on them. It, it means a lot to me and um, I just want to contribute and hopefully this information is helpful and anyone that's considering going solar or doing something like this for their home got something out of these videos. So 33 days four minutes is how long we went until we had to flip the switch and go back on the utility. And uh, I'm happy to say we're still in self-consumption mode. We're really not using any grid at all the way our system is designed, but we are back online. And we'll, uh, we'll follow back up when I get information back from Tesla to see if they saw anything abnormal on their side why it happened or maybe i'm just never going to have an explanation so so signing out and 
yes, the Buffalo Bills are 6-2 for the first time in God knows how long. So, Bills Mafia, keep it up. Buffalo Bills keep on playing and 33 days off the grid, I'd say it was an accomplishment. Signing out. Pick up snow. Snowball slept through the whole video. Unbelievable.